goal right now as a 16-year-old. What's your long-term goal? To get to the NBA. Is what, do you want to be the best? Yeah. are smiling today as both teams now have a chance for gold in the NBA draft and that gold LeBron James but is the 18 year old from Akron truly the savior we have better players than him in his position already on our team though um, his potential is probably the sky's the limit for him though Get LeBron is just gonna add, add to what we need and you know just make make things a little bit easier and he will come in and make an immediate impact like a Karan Butler, you know, did for the Miami Heat. I don't think you can really just bring a high school player in and really just think your team gonna really turn around like that. If he come, you know what I'm saying, he can just hop on our bandwagon and hopefully we can do something big. With the first pick in the 2003 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. There he is with his mom, Gloria. Gloria sacrificed a lot. Gave birth to LeBron when she was 16 on their own at 19, living on assistance, food stamps, and here they are just a short time later, $100 million in contract, endorsements in basketball, and LeBron James makes a great American story from tough times to tremendous success. The second player from high school selected first overall, Kwame Brown, of the Washington Wizards doing it a couple of years ago. High school games on national TV, and what has been the most impressive to me is how he's handled the unprecedented hype. Oh, you know what's amazing to me is we are actually going to see LeBron James jerseys. We're going to see Cleveland Cavalier jerseys in Montana, in L.A., in New York, in Chicago. And his impact is not just going to be on the court. It's going to be, able to, it's going to be felt all across the landscape of America. You know, you got to love this guy, too, in terms of his poise and the way he's really handled himself through all this adversity. I mean, this is a great moment for him and his family, obviously, but also for the city of Cleveland. It is for Cleveland as well, and here is LeBron James on the Sprite set with Michelle Tafoy. Mike, thanks. LeBron, this was a moment years in the making, and even though you knew you were going to be the top pick in the draft, you said you weren't sure how you'd feel when David Stern actually called your name. So I have to ask you, <laughs> what was the moment like? Uh, it was great. You know, this is a long time dream to finally accomplish this, and it finally shows that the hard work has finally paid off for me. And a lot lies ahead. You will most certainly be the most scrutinized rookie in the history of the NBA. What will make a successful season by your definition in the rookie year? You know, seeing our team get better every day. I think that's going to be the biggest accomplishment for us because last year we won pretty good. But if I feel like we get better every day as a team, that's going to be my biggest goal this year. There has been some talk that they might want to play you at the point guard. <laughs> what do you think? I think I'm going to be ready for it. You know, for anything that Coach Siles need me to do for my team to win, I think I'm going to be happy about it. You threw out to Carmelo Anthony. Basically game on. Let's buy for rookie of the year. Let's compete. Why will you win that contest? You know, I think, you know, I'm not sure I'm going to win the contest. I just think that I'm just going to try to get my teammates better. You know, I'm not looking for individual things. I'm all about the team. Well, the team wears this jersey on the road, LeBron. Here it is. Enjoy it. Podcast fans back at home. Mike, back Pops, here. what up? Ohio's own LeBron James becomes the first player taken in the number one overall selection. So LeBron, as you take the court for your first game, how are your nerves tonight? Oh, uh, you know, uh, I got a little nerves in my stomach right now, but, you know, once the jump ball starts up, I'll be ready to play. The second half of our NBA Wednesday doubleheader on ESPN is set to go. <laughs> Hugs all around. He'll get his indoctrination quick enough. So was this guy, Brad Miller, transplanted over here from Indiana. So this is his new team. Bibby works it to Pedro Zajakovic. Got it for three. That's the way he opened up the game. Comes LeBron James. 
on the run. This is his best part of the game. And there's his first assist, and it's a beauty. Good number. LeBron James first shot is good. And that's good to see. That's the thing do. James around a pick. Double team. And LeBron on the baseline. Two for two. Well, that's a great start, guys. I, I tell you what, I know people are talking, you know, that he can't shoot a jumper. He can score. He knows how to play the game. He's going to put the ball in the bucket. Lottie a chance for a three-point play and a great dish from Vivi. James trying to go four for four. And Christie, first team all defensive player, blocked it. He'll get it on the outlet on the other end. 215 with just over five to go first quarter. Well, the way I like the Kings are playing, they got nine assists and the ten first field goals. They don't care who scores, whoever gets the open, uh, whoever's open is going to get the open shot and get the pass. And perfect bounce pass for an easy left-handed layup. LeBron coming the other way off the glass, and he's four for five. Yeah, see, he doesn't need his jumper there when he can float through the lane, double pump, and knock it in off the glass. Oh, boy, Stoyakovic is in the zone. Doesn't matter if it's inside or outside. Now his second three. Davis runs right into his own screen. Turnover, and Bibby comes the other way. The dish to Miller. Kings are really showing the Cavs how you need to get out and run, even on made basketball. A lot of magic coming down. He gave a, a look one way and passed to a perfect boozer for a dunk. Here he comes the other way. There's your first James Jam of his career. <laughs> Whoa. Disappointing me, I'm telling you right now. He's got 10. I mean, all the hype. I was, I, I didn't know what to expect, but he knows how to play passing lanes. This guy knows in the open floor, he has tremendous court awareness. Here he uh -oh. comes again. This time he dishes to his trailer, Davis. Oh, how about that? Can I stand up and light a match? <laughs> Tony Massenburg takes down the rebound. Jackson, nice crossover dribble and almost got the open shot. Lottie, the dish to Jackson. If there's a better passer, as a big man. There aren't too many around better than that. I just love watching these guys play. A long, contested outside jumper. Final four seconds. Lottie, that shot, shot goes. And Bremer on the court. Bobby Jackson with a steal, going coast to coast. That's what all the other guys like Brad Miller is going to have great chemistry because he does so many other things for his teammates. What a pass by Bobby Davis to Christie. Just looped it over everybody's head, and Christie's the double figures with him. I'd like to see him begin. I'd like to see him continue to stay aggressive. There's his first shot of the third and goes. From Jordan's number 23, so that's the inspiration for the number 23. Pass Jordan's first game in the NBA. He just surpassed it. How about that? And you guys are both in here just smiling. That's just athletic there. He went up, saw Brad Miller kind of change in midair and flipped it up with his left hand. So the big rebound when he gives it to Christie. And Stoyakovich will be the recipient as he lays it in for his 22nd point. I don't think it was ever like this in Akron in high school. 17,000 plus up during that third quarter break. But LeBron James has been equal to his debut's task. Well, I tell you, no turnovers, 19 points. He's done everything and then some of what everybody expected. And Bobby Jackson, what a crossover. He buries it. Bobby Jackson back to back points. And this is what Bobby Jackson does the best. He comes off the bench, he electrifies the crowd, especially in the fourth quarter. He's a clutch player, he can do it all. And battle will come from Miles on the baseline. James straight off the pass, and he hits the outside jumper. On Elliott and Jim Gray. Our ESPN crew second half on ESPN NBA Wednesday. Better later. Jimmy Jackson trying to fill it from 18, and he knocks it down. Five to play. He just fools you into thinking that he's slow. Makes him know he's laying the ball up on you. That guy's not slow. And that's what he's got to do more often because with his size and ability and his leaping ability, he can get in that paint and just jump over people for the ball and make the plays. Lotte with the trail pass to Miller. Contested inside, but he got it back and scored. That's a good midway bad attitude by my boy from Indiana. Coming out final few seconds, but folks, you saw LeBron James debut. That probably is his last shot of the night. It's an air ball. And he'll hear about that, but I don't think he's going to hear about anything else because that's the only razzing he's been able to take from 17,000 fans because he's been brilliant. I tell you what, Brad, he's much better than I thought he was going to be, and I'm going to tell all.
LeBron's spectacular rookie season put him in some very select company as he joined Oscar Robertson and Michael Jordan as the only first-year players in league history to average more than 20 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists per game. King James was crowned the NBA's Rookie of the Year, besting Carmelo Anthony in the balloting and also outpacing another sensation in South Beach, the Miami Heat's Dwayne Wade. It's been quite a year. It started with the Olympics. It, it ends with your team in the playoffs for the fourth year. The best record in the league. And led by these fans. Led by these fans. Some might call them the difference. You have led your team, but always thought team first. So congratulations to LeBron James, the 2008-2009 NBA Most Valuable Player. to this MVP trophy, then my 14 teammates, then my coaching staff, then my family. You guys have a big part in this MVP trophy also. I know you guys have been sitting around your houses for the last nine days and been wondering who we gonna play. You guys have been getting a little bored, so I don't wanna take much of your time because I'm ready to get on the court too, so. Uh, Let's enjoy the night. And let's go, baby. Now, the year the Cavs were supposed to win an NBA championship, and the year the city of Cleveland was set to celebrate maybe their first title since 64, is going to end in the second round. Verichow puts up a three. Won't go. Rebound Garnett. And that's it. The Boston Celtics with the huge upset. They advance to the conference finals. And LeBron James' season is over. Is his career in Cleveland over? series here in the conference semifinals not shocking that the Celtics won surprising yes but shocking the way they won and the way the Cavs lost three straight and again the impending free agency of LeBron James sends the impact of this collapse to another dimension if he leaves it would be a disaster of enormous proportions to the Cavaliers now he certainly may stay in Cleveland but there will be big changes for the Cavaliers as they fall short once again. LeBron James this year staying and shaking the hands. Remember last year in Orlando? He left the building right away after they lost to the Magic. Good sportsmanship from everyone involved tonight. And you just wonder what changes will happen with the Cleveland Cavaliers. And Cleveland fans wondering if that's the last time he'll take off a Cavalier jersey. You still a nail biter? Uh, I have a little bit, not not of late. Well, you've had everybody else biting their nails, so I guess it's time for them to stop chewing. 
the answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, it's, it's very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. That was the conclusion you woke up with this morning. That was the conclusion I woke up with this morning. It's absolutely ridiculous. I ran Police Day LBJ. This party is because of our organization. And we've supported him for seven years now. And for him to go on there and drag us through the mud for seven years and stab us in the heart, he deserves everything he gets. I hope he never wins anything in Miami. He is dead to me. The Dallas Mavericks are NBA champions. A stunning ending to one of the more compelling seasons in NBA history. We've just decided we don't like this guy. And as a consequence, we have allowed it to completely influence the way we analyze him as a player. He really doesn't belong in the analysis, but it is there. Basically, turned me into somebody I wasn't. You know, you start to hear a villain. Now you have to be the villain. Uh, you know, and I started to buy into it. You know, I started to play, uh, play the game of basketball at a, at a, at a level or at a mind state that I never played at before. Uh, Meaning, angry. You know, and that's mentally, and that's not the way I play the game of basketball. James frauded the city of Cleveland. You're a sellout, Miami. You're a bad dog. Legacy. Traders don't leave legacies. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. I care about what you're going to do in terms of putting rings on your finger so Skip Bayless, myself, and everybody else can shut up. It is time. I'm tired of this man being celebrated. For what? It's like he wants to be crowned with no ring. Welcome to Game 5 of the NBA Finals. The Miami Heat are 48 minutes away from celebrating an NBA title on their home floor. One more win, and the three All-Stars will share an unforgettable championship moment after entering the league together nine years ago. With the first pick in the 2003 NBA Draft, LeBron James. If that opportunity presents itself where I'm holding that trophy up, it will be a dream come true. With the fourth pick, Chris Bosch. You know, success comes through working hard, and I believe if I keep working hard, sky's the limit. You want fourth? Fifth. Fifth. With the fifth pick, Dwayne Wade. If I could write the script, I would walk from the game accomplished as an individual, but most importantly, as winning championships. Dwayne, what's the task tonight? Winning. Winning. This is one of the biggest nights in LeBron James' career. After two disappointing trips to the finals, can he lead his team to a title and forever be known as a champion? There's nobody that's been more scrutinized than LeBron. Nobody in the league who's supposed to win it more than LeBron is supposed to win it. And having gone through what they went through last year, it's sort of a sweet relief type of moment. Miami has put Big Blues back to the wall. The Thunder trying to escape the heat and bring the series back to Oklahoma City. We got a great opportunity to make it a series. We got to come out and play hard, extremely hard, leave everything out there on the court. It's the last time I'm looking at all y'all in your eyes, and y'all not champions. That's why I'm getting a good look. The last time I look at y'all in your eyes, and y'all not champions. Welcome to the 2012 NBA Finals, the American Airlines Arena in Miami, which tonight could be the site where a champion is crowned. LeBron James and the Heat, one win away from the title they so desperately crave. But this talented young Thunder team, they have other plans. Win one game tonight and watch the momentum change and a chance to go home to their raucous crowd. And for Oklahoma City, first time facing elimination in these playoffs, Durant throws it away to Chalmers. James on the break and the finish. Cephalosha remains on LeBron James, who gets inside, count it, and one. And that's two on Cephalosha. He lost where James is, as hard as that is to believe, as he went back door. Tremendous play design by Eric Spolstra. Harden the runner, well short, James the rebound. 
We're midway through the first. James drives right at Ibaka. Counter and a foul. of the body to fend off Perkins and still have the strength to put the ball in the basket. James, the offensive rebound, finds Bosch. Largest lead of the night. Shot clock down to five. James kicks it out. Miller for three. Bang! Mike Miller, four for four from downtown. And the Heat lead by 15. Durant, stolen by Chalmers. Back to LeBron James, lays it in. An avalanche from Miami. It's 53-36. MVP regular season. Spectacular performances at the most important times, whether it was game four against Indiana, game six against Boston. The consistent, the sustained excellence that he's had. He wants to close it out tonight. James again drives inside. Ibaka stays with him, and he still puts it in. Durant drives and got a little fancy with the drill and turned it over. Chalmers, good pursuit, comes back the other way. James lowers the shoulder. Chalmers hits a three. Big turnaround right there. Zephalosha blocked by Wade. He did that at the end of game four as Westbrook barreled into James. Danny Crawfordson, play on. James drives, kicks it out. Battier for three, again. Another three-pointer for the Heat, the lead back to 11. Mattier, that's another three. Miami lighting it up from downtown. Bosch down the lane, that good, and a foul. Chris Bosch with a strong play in the lead back up to 11. Wade throws it to James down the lane, layup, banks it in. Largest lead of the night. Wade goes up, finds James on the bailout. But the finish is so exquisite to adjust, adapt, avoid, and then knock in a layup to put him up 19. James has 19 points, nine assists, and seven rebounds. James with Durant on him. Bosch will try a three-pointer. That's good! Everything going down for Miami. A 22-point lead. Their 11th three-pointer of the game. Westbrook blocked by James. What an onslaught from Miami once again. An incredible offensive performance. And Oklahoma City had that chance early in the third. As Bosch just finds himself wide open. Miller, another three. Six three-pointers from Mike Miller. And then I think Mickey Harrison, the owner, as James hits Wade on a beautiful cut and finish in clutch situation. Games two, three, and four all tight. James in game two hits that bank shot with about a minute left. And then the driving, twisting layup in game three. Game four, the well-documented cramps. And then the three that broke the tie for good. And then here tonight, 13 assists. 21 points, just been attacking the basket. Thunder still trying to battle, trying to find a way. Durant shot short, Collison's tip misses. Ball knocked loose, Chalmers and Fisher, and James comes up with it. James now two rebounds shy of a triple double. Wade flips it up, that won't go. Still battling for rebounds, James won't. Gets another one, puts it up, banks it in, and a foul. 
He gets his triple double and a chance for a three point play. James finishing it off. And LeBron James caps off an MVP regular season with a magnificent playoff run. And an extraordinary performance in the finals. No doubt he'll be named the finals MVP. We'll get an official coming up in a little bit. The Miami Heat are once again NBA champions. LeBron James captures that elusive title he so desperately coveted. And LeBron James averaged 28.6 points. 10.2 rebounds, 7.4 assists, and is the unanimous choice for the MVP, the Bill Russell Most Valuable Player Trophy of the 2012 NBA Finals. Say it all, LeBron James, MVP of the finals. Given everything you've been through, when the clock hit triple zeros, what's the first thing that ran through your mind? Uh, it's about damn time. It's about damn time. Going back to last year's finals, the way it ended, the way you struggled, the ton of criticism that came your way in so many different ways, What's the one thing that was said or written that bothered you the most? Uh, uh, that I was selfish. Uh, that's the only thing that bothered me that, you know, a lot of people said I was a selfish person, a selfish basketball player. And, uh, you know, I strive on being a team player, you know, doing whatever it takes to help this team win. But at the same time, I use it as motivation. And, uh, you know, I'm happy that I was able to make enough plays to put ourselves in a position to win this championship. You said that last year you were trying to prove something. And this year you realized you didn't have to do that. So how do you refocus your mind? How did you do that? I just went back to the basics. Uh, you know, I knew what got me to this point and that was hard work and dedication. Um, and I never had to prove anything to anyone. You know, in my first seven years, I just went out and let the game take care of itself. And last year, I tried to prove something to everybody. You know, and I played with a lot of hate and that's not the way I play the game of basketball. I play with a lot of love a lot of passion, and uh, that's what I got back to this year. We saw you on the broadcast, seconds left in the game. What was going on on the bench in your show of just unbridled emotion? I mean, it's, uh, this right here is the happiest day of my life. It's the happiest day of my life. And I wouldn't want to spend it with nobody else in the world besides my teammates, these fans, oh my God, you guys are unbelievable. And this is a dream come true. LeBron James, the seventh player in NBA history to have multiple triple doubles in the NBA Finals. Congratulations, go enjoy it. One game on our home floor to bring home another championship, man. This is everything that we worked for all season long. All the sacrifices we've made to each other, dog. Every single day, dog. Every single minute. It's going to pay off. They say hard work pay off, man. So let's make that statement become true. LeBron James and the Heat coming off one of the most remarkable finishes you'll ever see. A breathtaking overtime victory in game six to keep their season alive. Meanwhile, Tim Duncan and the San Antonio Spurs suffering as gut-wrenching a loss as you can imagine. Now the former champs with an opportunity to redeem themselves. This is the 18th time that an NBA Finals has gone to a game seven. Of the previous 17, the road team has only won three times. And the last time was 35 years ago. And the Bullets won at 78. Nice pass. And then James converts it. Five to shoot for Wade. Duncan daring him. Wade drives past him, finds James. In and foul. Wade didn't settle, makes something happen, and LeBron James will shoot the first two free throws of the game. Parker to Neal for three. In and out. 
I think Parker's got to use those opportunities to attack. With James on him, he's not going to have that many opportunities. He's got to go to it. Way that opportunity, his second field goal. These players look pretty tired. They are early. running in mud right now for the most part. There are some guys like Dwayne Wade who looks energetic. James and a foul. Took a hard hit, put it in, and a chance for a three-point play. James for three. Ray Allen tips it out. James sets three-pointer. It's good. His second three-pointer of the game. Wade spins, fires, shot off the mark. James easily tips it in with Parker on him. Duncan, the runner, can't finish. Miller the rebound. Good defense by Bosch with the three fouls. Inside, Wade tried to get it to James. Parker deflects it. James steps wide open for three. That's three three-pointers for LeBron James. Green on the drive, bad pass through it right to Miller. And here's Wade down the other end for a dunk. And that's such a costly turnover against a team like the Miami Heat. Allen off the screen. James will try another three. Hucks it in. LeBron James, fourth three-pointer of the game. And the Heat back up by two. Leonard daring him. Ray Allen and James. Again, look how far off they're playing. He'll try it again. It's good. LeBron James making the Spurs pay. A five-point Heat lead. James drives hard to the basket and draws the foul. Five threes. No one in remotely in the same area on any of these threes. These are like practice shots. The Heat have already taken 21 threes. James has taken eight. And it will be interesting to see if and when San Antonio decides to adjust and try to close that space, which then could lead to more dribble drive opportunities. James pulls up, puts it in. 28 points for LeBron James, who has been extraordinary in game sevens and elimination games in his career. James kicks it out the corner, Battier puts it in, five for five for Battier. Wade, down the other end, pull up jumper. Won't go, Anderson the rebound, back to Wade. Shot blocked, James gets it. His shot knocked away, but a foul. Shot clock at five. James puts it up, knocks it down. Six to shoot, James. It's good. 33 for LeBron James. Parker on the drive, the floater. Won't go, Duncan the rebound. Throws it back out, stolen by Chalmers. Here comes James, drives, kicks out Battier for three. Bang! Side Duncan across the lane. Duncan misses the tip, no good, and box the rebound. He clinging to a two-point lead. James pulls up, puts it in. Four-point lead. 35 for LeBron James. Timeout, San Antonio. Ginobili inside to Duncan. Back to Ginobili. Ginobili out of control, throws it away, and Duncan fouls James. Six-point game. Ginobili, a long three. Way off the mark. Rebound, Wade. Foul by Green. This for Miami, the largest lead of the night. Battier tips it out to Chalmers. Wade throws it up to James. The Spurs will not foul. Final seconds. What a finish. It's back-to-back -back titles for the Heat. The 2013 NBA Championship resides once again in Miami. And with 25.3 points, almost 11 rebounds a game and seven assists, the 2013 Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player is, for the second straight finals, LeBron James.
you paid a price to be a great jump shooter. How happy are you that you paid that price? Uh, like Spo said, first of all, I want to give a lot of credit to the San Antonio Spurs. First class organization, they pushed us to the limit. I work on my game a lot throughout the off season. I put a lot of work into it. And to be able to come out here and, and the results happen out on the floor is the ultimate. Uh, it's the ultimate. I, I mean, I can, I'm lost for words. LeBron, you are constantly faced with the din of noise from the outside, scrutiny and pressure. How, when everybody is coming at you, do you keep your head man. and perform at the level you That's do? A bad man. Listen, uh, for me, I can't worry about what everybody say about me. I'm LeBron James from Akron, Ohio, from the inner city. I'm not even supposed to be here. That's enough. Every night I walk into the, the locker room, I see a number six with James on the back. I'm blessed. So what everybody say about me off the court don't matter. I ain't got no worries. Congratulations, LeBron. Thank you. very tough um, in this form. So the city of Cleveland, long tortured, without a championship for 50 years, now has something to cheer about. LeBron James is coming home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Here he comes the other way. Tell me I'm Let the rain wash away all the pain of yesterday.
what you deal with. Deep keep all this raw, some liquor playboy, and we keep all Baby, we've been living this Doesn't matter to him. We've been living this way. But we've been living this way. So you've been a guest in your own home. It's time to make your house your own. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Ain't no stopping us now. I love that song. Whenever it comes on, it makes me feel strong. I thought I told you that we won't stop till we back cruising through Harlem. These old blocks is what made me, saved me, drove me crazy. Come on, waited and embraced me, forgave me for all of my shortcomings. Yeah, it's been a long time. A lot of fights, a lot of scars, a lot of See the folks lined up behind me waiting to get going. Everybody who's been waiting for LeBron James to come back home. Today, LeBron's come back. It's a welcome home party. Celebrate, let's go. 30,000 hanging around the stadium waiting to see LeBron. LBC! Go Cap! Let's go! This is supposed to be off the chart tonight. The people are just anxious to welcome him back. Even though he might not have been here, he still did things in the community. The whole area really responds to that. This is amazing. You guys in the stands, I want to thank everyone for being here. You guys are unbelievable that made this possible. I don't know if you guys know what happened in the last month with me deciding to come back and play here. It's people that came to me and said, LeBron, you got to do what makes you happy. And I was like, yeah, I think so. And also, I'm going to do what makes my city and my state happy, and that's why I came back. I love you, I'm back. It's been 40 years since the Warriors last celebrated an NBA title. Today, they're one win away from making history again. We're not done! Let's go, Cavs! Get it done tonight! Go, Cavs! Woo! But standing in their way, a hometown hero drawing on his championship experience. I feel confident because I'm the best player in the world. It's simple. You've earned the right to be here. You've earned the right to play in this game. But we have to earn one more thing, and that's the game tonight. Nobody's giving us anything.
people that think they can, and people that think they cannot. And honestly, probably both of them are right. But what's important is what you believe. Number 23, Leverage G! Ain't no tomorrow. Ain't no tomorrow right now. Don't worry about tomorrow, what tomorrow brings. It's all about right now. And a big difference in the last couple of games for Golden State. They get off to good starts. Iguodala has to the inbounds with the shot clock at eight. Right side, Draymond Green. The action cutting is a beautiful backdoor with Curry, who lays it up and in. All right, good job, guys. Good start. Boys, boys, take care of the ball. Keep defending. Backdoor Curry. Curry triple teamed out to Iguodala. Doesn't want to shoot it. Gets to the Curry. He'll fire. And hit a three right in front of the Golden State bench. Talk about a gift to shoot the basketball. That was locked and loaded. Come on, guys. They made a run. Let's run right back at him. One play at a time, fellas. One play at a time. We're all right, fellas. Back to LeBron in the corner with the clock at three. Guarded by Livingston. Step back, corner three. It's good. What a shot by James. Six in a row to start the quarter for the Cavs. Well, that was an impossible shot. Got to keep working at that end. Keep playing defense, fellas. Iguodala gets inside, blocked by Moskov. What a defensive presence for Timothy Moskov here in the second quarter. Warriors struggling offensively. These Cav fans do not want their season to end tonight. James drives off balance. Thompson on the follow. Now in the half, the Cavaliers are back with it too in this must-win game six. They're doing some good things. The first quarter, we moved the ball a lot better than we did in the second. We started settling. Now it's just a matter of executing and doing our jobs. Curry somehow comes out of the pack with the ball, dribbles down the lane, passing the down. Two-hand slam. Beautiful feed by Curry. Get up! Get up! Three on two. Curry puts up the three. Azili on the five. Festus Sazili with the slam, and it's a 13-point lead. Guys, there's a lot of game left. Go put your hands down. Play. A lot of game left. Come on. Green outside the arc on the right. Kick to the left side. Taken away by James. Here's LeBron to the basket. Ducks it with the right hand. All of a sudden, it's a seven-point game. Come on, fellas. Come on. Come on, guys. And the energy is back in Quicken Loans Arena. But if you're the Cavs right now, you, you got to find a way to get stops on the defensive end. Curry gets an opening, fires away. Got it again. Stephen Curry from downtown, it's back to 11. Back to Draymond, up and under, throws the corner. There's Iguodala, he'll let it launch. Iguodala, wide open shot, hits the three-pointer. Golden State can start their celebration. LeBron James with the congratulations to the MVP. And it's over. The championship is back in the bay. I don't know. I mean, for me, it's never a success if you you go out losing. But um, I think it's, uh, we put ourselves in, uh, you know, back where this franchise need to be, being a contender. Uh, but we got some, we still got a lot of work to do. I mean, it was a great series. I mean, you know, up until... You know, they blew the game open in the fourth in game five, but we had a chance there. Um, you know, tonight we had our chances, but, uh, you know, we ran out of talent. We ran out of talent tonight. We gave everything I had. The guys were played as hard as they could, as long as we could. But, you know, that team across the way, you give your hat, you tip your hats to them. Um, I cannot remember a team like them being healthy all year for the most part. All the guys, I mean, it's the... They uh, they did a great job. Dealing with, was there ever a point in this finals that you doubted whether you'd be able to pull this off? Uh, yeah, when the the numbers went zero and we lost tonight. That's when I doubted. That's when it was over. I mean, obviously I knew it was going to be a tough task, and I continue to tell you guys we were we were undermanned. I don't know any other team. I don't. I've been watching basketball for a long time. I'm a historian of the game. I don't know any other team that's got to the finals without two All-Stars. 
I, I cannot re remember thinking of it. I can't remember in the back. I, I just, I don't even know if it's ever happened for a team to lose two All-Stars and, and still be able to make it to the finals. And, and I don't even, you know, what Andy brings to our team as well. I mean, it's another double-double guy. You know, we had three playmakers in suits. And, and this round and even throughout the playoffs, you got to have, you know, all the playmakers, you got to be healthy. And you got to be a full strength to, to win it. We weren't. We just wasn't. I always look at it. Would I rather not make the playoffs or lose in the finals? I don't know. I don't know. I've missed the playoffs twice. I lost in the finals four times. I'm almost starting to be like, oh, I'd rather not even make the playoffs than to lose in the finals. I, I would hurt a lot easier if I just didn't make the playoffs and I didn't have a shot at it. But, um, but then I lock back in and I start thinking about how fun it is to compete during the playoffs in the first round, the second round, and Eastern Conference Finals. And if I'm lucky enough to get here again, then uh, it'd be fun to do it. But put my body through a lot, you know. And um, but it's a price to it's a price for your body feeling this way for winning. And uh, did I win? I didn't win a championship, but, I, you know, I've done a lot of good things, you know, in this first year back, and hopefully I can continue it. The championship is back in the bay for the first time in four I didn't appreciate last year getting to the finals, knowing that Kev was out for the rest of the season and knowing that Kai was dealing with injuries all the way from the first round. It was definitely a different feeling, having our team at full strength. And I appreciate this moment and be there once again. The Cleveland Cavaliers and Golden State Warriors meet again in the NBA Finals, each with their own pursuit of history. You know, we're glad to be back here, but a lot of work to do. And looking forward to getting it done. Game one, NBA Finals, that's what it's all about, man. The city of Cleveland has waited more than a half century for a pro title. While the Warriors are trying to start a championship repeat, the perfect cap to their 73-win season. Let's keep our composure. Let's stay together all night. We're going to make some mistakes. That's part of the game, but let's make sure we stay together all night. We come out with a championship effort right from the beginning. We're not waiting two or three games to get into this series. We're starting right from the tip. Enjoy every moment, enjoy the atmosphere, every second, every minute, every play, every possession. Enjoy it, all right? Let's win. Just yeah, us. One, two, three. Let's go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Oracle Arena. An epic seven-game series begins tonight with game one. Green chest pass, high left side to Curry, working on Thompson. Thompson slip. Curry the mismatch. Curry the three. Good! That's all it takes. Iguodala guarding LeBron James. James, the spin move, boy, makes it look so easy. That was pretty. That's 6 270 doing that as well. Barbosa behind the back on the right side. Largest lead of the first half. Some huge play from their support players. We're down eight. All right, come on, just stay with it. Let's close the half, all right? Let's call some havoc defensively. We'll get out and run. And here comes Kyrie Irving. He goes around him. Iguodala stole it again. Three on two. Clay Thompson running and laying it up and in. Iguodala may have the best defensive hands in the game. And that will end the first half. Golden State up by nine. Be in good shape. You gotta keep playing hard. You gotta be a little bit more physical and understand what we're trying to do. Kyrie Irving drives, draws contact, count it and one. And Kyrie Irving has a chance for the three-point play. It's Warriors 56, Cavaliers 49. Way to stay tough, way to stay in it. They're gonna make some shots, that's okay. Just stay with it, keep being aggressive, keep attacking. Kevin Love, rushed the shot, ball knocked loose. Love comes up with the ball and banks it in. And Cleveland has their first lead since the opening minute. Okay, it's all right, hey. We're in a great spot, right? One possession at a time, here we go. Livingston, mid-range, 39 bench points to only five by the Cavaliers. Livingston, the foul line, rises again. Good! Roof 
ready to blow off this place. Keep pushing. Every possession, right? Finish it strong now. James goes to Thompson. Left-handed. Missed it. Tip to Tinka by Iguodala. Curry to Iguodala. Oh, what a beautiful pass. Curry to a running Andre to dunk it home. Lowest scoring game of the season for Thompson and Curry combined. Yet they win by 15. The final three, two, one. 104 89. Warriors take game one, courtesy of their bench. Our defense was great, and you guys took care of the ball. And again, through that, we always had a great chance to win. We had such a group effort tonight. It could be anybody on any given night. It's, it's our job really to stay ready. Deshaun Livingston gave him a huge spark, but when you get out score 45-10 and on the bench, it's going to be hard to win, especially on the road. Everybody stepped up. You don't win championships without, without the whole squad, so proud of the way you play. We have to be more sharp than we were in game one. At the end of the day, we have the same goal, and that's to bring a championship to Cleveland. I mean, we obviously have a deep team, but everybody has an impact and has an opportunity to come in and help us win. And hopefully that continues for game two. Last year we dropped game two, uh, put us in a hole going into Cleveland, so we know they're going to come out desperate. Only three out of the 31 teams that have fallen behind two games tonight in finals history have gone on to win it all. For the Warriors, it's about continuing the pressure and taking another step toward their goal of back-to-back -back titles. An opportunity to take care of home court. Got to show up and uh, look at that toughness to get us ready. Bring that defensive focus and uh, just have fun. Enjoy our own crowd. Focus is the same as game one. We defend like crazy every possession, and we take care of the ball. It's not going to be easy. You know, it's a hostile crowd, and they're going to want to go up 2-0. Why not? They're at home, and they want to win both games. So we got to come ready to play. Leave it all out there, man. Come on. Come on. We got 40 minutes, man. Together on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Go. Three, two, one. Goal red. And we are underway. James goes right and a block by Bogut. James out pass to Thompson, blocked by Bogut. His third already. Curry in transition, dialing long distance, and the Warriors have the lead. Yes, sir. Let's see it come to stop. He's on that three, but cut off, goes back up, blocked again by Bogut. Four rejections in less than eight minutes. That's what I'm talking about, big guy. Are they out tough this right now? Are they out scrapping us? Make no mistake about it. We got to be tougher. James again posting up. Gets inside, an easy layup. LeBron James's first points. And quickly, Steve Kerr calls a 20 second timeout. We're not in it right now. Get, on, get locked in at both ends of the floor. On defense, you got to talk. Keep playing hard, keep being aggressive on this end, keep attacking. The good court, Delavadova on the drive. Inside the James for the flush. And a six point lead for the Cavaliers. That's what I'm talking about. Spark, baby. That's what you do. Let's go. Got to get some offensive flow. Ball's got to move. Now let's start playing our game. Outside, drives on Shepard. No look, flip to Draymond. He's open, he'll fire. Three ball, good for Draymond. Hey, Clay! Clay, good pass! Chance of Warriors. Thompson gets past Jefferson, out to Green, tries another three, puts it in. Draymond Green lighting it up. He's got 15. Warriors pouring it on. An 18-point turnaround. Let's go, fellas. There we go. On the right side, gets it down to Draymond at the box. The cutters play Thompson, got pushed. It's up and in. He got fouled by J.R. Smith from behind. And Clay Thompson has a chance to get Golden State a 20-point lead. That's what it's supposed to look like. Defense is great. 
Way to get on the glass. Ball's moving. Good screening action. So you fall in love with the pretty basketball, the great ball for the competitive spirit. Well, after Barbosa, the clay. The one thing this team constantly does, it takes your will. Play for three. Got it! Golden State, what an impressive performance. Shoot 54% from the field. And they'll take a 2-0 lead in these NBA Finals. Good win, you know, we did what we were supposed to do. Took care of home court. Now we got to go on the road. It's going to be 100 times harder if we You guys know that. We're going to have to execute if we want to win this. These two games are over. I don't see a mental hurdle. I just think we know we got to play better. And then we got to roll the ball out and play Wednesday. I mean, we're feeling confident, but like I said, we're not getting ahead of ourselves. There's no point in celebrating. So we still have to go out and, and get the job done. Just three times ever. And according to ESPN BPI, the Cavs are now only given an 8% chance to win the series and a 23% chance of being swept, Stephen A. Are the Cavs done? Yes, they are. I don't even know why that's a question. Uh, the Golden State Warriors have only lost back-to-back -back games this year one time, and that was in the Western Conference Finals to the Oklahoma City Thunder. That's it. Outside of that, they haven't even lost two games in a row. And the Cleveland Cavaliers, this Cleveland Cavaliers team, is supposed to convince us that they're going to win four of the next five games in order to win this series. Their chances of winning this series is zero, as far as I'm concerned. If they lose one of these games, they this series is over in five at the most. They're not coming back to the Oracle and winning a game five. This 2020 sports update, Cavs Warriors NBA Finals rolls back into Cleveland. Through the first two games, Cavs as a team haven't looked like the Cavs we saw throughout the playoffs. Cavaliers have their backs against the wall against the Warriors. Game three inside the queue, tip off is set for nine o'clock. We're down to 2 understanding this is our home floor. We're a confident bunch, and we can't afford to go down 3-0. So we're going to give everything that we got and leave it on the floor. Our crowd's going to give us energy. We're going to give them energy, too. Let's do it out. That's our approach tonight. See, everyone is ready to bury Cleveland. But if you make the necessary adjustments, and then you play your best basketball, that's what this is all about. We're turning up into the nights, fellas. We know what to expect tonight. Do your job, man. Follow my lead from the start to the finish. All right, I got it. Let's go, man. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. Aggressively in the front court, dribbles on Curry, holds him off, crossover dribble, takes the top of the key jumper, off and good. He can feel it right now. And he was the one guy they needed to get going, and so far, so good for them. Irving for three, puts it in. Kyrie Irving from way downtown. Irving has 16 first quarter points. What an eruption from the Cavaliers here to start game three. I like what we're seeing here now. They're pushing the ball, and they're out on the break. We got to be stronger, we got to be tougher, we got to be quicker. Barbosa heads to Livingston. What a beautiful look from Sean Livingston. Draymond for a slam on the fast break. This is a team that's more than capable of coming back. This game is far from over. Hey, we've done a great job to find our way back in. Let's finish the half strong. We'll be in great shape. Clay Thompson, oh, what a beauty, and the foul. He scores, he got fouled as well, and hit the deck hard. Beautiful move by Clay Thompson. That was a heck of a finish. Go get him, Tristan, go get him. Tristan Thompson back to LeBron, over the head, dunk. Brought down the lane, took a beat from Tristan Thompson, reverses one home. A wild first half. Keep being confident, keep staying together. They're gonna make some runs, they're gonna make some shots. We know that, but we just got to stay together and we got to keep fighting. Right? Caps led by as many as 20. Well, they'll head to the third quarter, up by eight. Jefferson left corner, back to Smith. Fakes a three, fires a three, nails a three. For the sake of the Cavs, they have responded. This is a different basketball team than they played in games one and two. Smith right corner for a triple, he scores. 
J.R. Smith off a of Kyrie Irving feed. That time it was Curry who was closing, but not quickly enough. 77-59 Cavaliers. Jump, switch, jump, jump, switch. Hey, switch, switch. You're coming out that way. Switch. Turns it over. LeBron hits the deck to scoop it up. James keeps his dribble somehow. And now a loose ball. LeBron James up with it. Passes over to Irving. Lob back to James. Back to LeBron. And LeBron hammers it home. Oh, he throws it down. And that will do it. There's the horn. The Cavaliers playing game three by 30 points. Your final, Cavaliers 120, Warriors 90, as the Cavaliers have battled their way right back into this final series. Very respectful. Yes, sir. You too, baby. It was a must win. Our backs against the walls. We're home. The crowd gave us energy. And, uh, you know, I'm glad we got the win. A rough night for Golden State. They'll get a chance to turn it around Friday night. You know, winning an NBA championship is not supposed to be easy. So it's up to us to respond. Not the way we wanted the night to go, and there's a sense of urgency in knowing how big game four is. Cleveland grinds, Cleveland believes, that's what the Cavs are. They embody the city of Cleveland. No matter what the world says, no matter how many games you're down, you don't quit, you don't stop believing. With your heart and your soul, you've got to believe we're going to do it. We're going to win. Because it's Cleveland, man. We're due. All in. 2-1-6. After winning big at game three, Cleveland has all the momentum. The defending champions have a tough challenge ahead of them, and they look to regroup on the Cavaliers' home floor and regain control of the series. We got this far because we're a team, because we rely on all you guys. When we play together, when we compete together, that's when we're at our best. Let's fight, fellas. Have each other's back from the start. 48 minutes. Here we go, man. Follow my lead. Y'all know what it's about. Together on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Irving off the screen. He'll take it in. Hands off the Thompson. Met by Draymond. Rips the ball away. Pump it goes up. And Draymond Green fouls him and one. Two minutes left here in the first. With it is Curry. Curry goes away from the screen. Stops and pops over Shepard. And drills a three-pointer stepping away. There is Curry with that splash and dash. Good quarter. Stay with it, all right? Hey, we're doing a good job. Let's be physical, all right? Keep attacking. Curry's got Tristan Thompson on him. Curry the drive. Shot blocked by Irving. Curry Irving, and no. Oh, oh my. It's still for five and a half remaining here in the second. This one has been close throughout. J.R. Smith misses the shot. Rebound, James. Another offensive rebound for the Cavaliers. Passes out to Kevin Love. Love squares. Love shoots a three. Love knocks it down. We're at the break. 55-50 is our score. Golden State trailing by five. You got to play faster. Be, it, be on the attack. Be the aggressor all night, all right? We're fighting like crazy, and that's the main thing. We're in great shape. Pressure is all on them. They have to win this game. Green racing up the floor. Draymond takes it all the way, feeds Clay Thompson. He's open for three, and he buries it. Clay with a triple. Nigadala to Thompson out to Curry. Oh, Curry and Thompson having their best game so far in the finals. Three pointer puts it in. Golden State up three. An 11 point turnaround here on the third. Hey, listen, we okay, but we're killing ourselves. We gotta communicate and talk. We can't give them baskets. A lot of time left. We don't want to come up and slow the ball down. We got an advantage. We go. We're looking for shots. Love drives on Andre. Leads back. His pass blocked. James goes up. Strip. Oh, what a play by Andre. Irving on the break. Stops. Goes up. Blocked by Clay Thompson. This has been a dominant defensive second half by the Warriors. Rebound. Iguodala comes up with another one. Andre Iguodala having one of those big games at crunch time. Shot clock at seven. Curry puts up a three. Bang! Seven Curry from downtown. That's 17 three-pointer. A finals record now. 
for most threes by a team. The Golden State Warriors have handed the Cleveland Cavaliers their first loss at home in the postseason, and they take a commanding three games to one lead. I thought we competed. I thought we played hard, but every time we made a mistake, they made us pay. A way to respond. We've done it all year. No, no different in the playoffs, so got to man up. This next game is going to be the hardest game. Lock in. It was a key win for us, you know, but we can't be comfortable. We still got a lot of work to do. They're going to bring their best fight, so it's going to be a hard, tough game, and uh, we got to be prepared mentally. In the NBA Finals, you got to lay it all on the line. If you don't think we can win, don't get on the plane. It's not hard. You just go out and do your job. You give everything that you have to your team and to your teammates. I know what I'm capable of doing, and I know what our team is capable of doing, especially in a do-or-die game. There was a peculiar conviction among the Cavalier 15. A quiet confidence that was not manufactured or artificial. This team truly believes and has no plans to bow out gracefully. Let's go, Warriors! Bring it home tonight, baby! Let's go! Woo! Well, the Warriors are chasing history tonight, but they'll have to do it without Draymond Green. Very important game, both teams. You know, one fight for the lives, and honestly, I'm fighting for my life too. Just trying to, you know, solidify our season and put a great team win together. We're down but not out. I mean, we have a never die attitude. We know it's just going to be one game at a time. We got to fight. The two most important days of your life is when you were born and when you discovered the reason why you were born. I think we were born to be champions. All right, we got a tough old and conquer, but we can do it. All right, we're down 3 1, and we got to have a mindset that when we go into this game tonight, we're going to win. Same opportunity, fellas, right in front of us. Focus on the details, energy, effort, to stay together. Just us. One, two, three. Just us. Sold out Oracle Arena as we're set for the tip of the starting lineup. Some changes. Kevin Love back in the starting lineup after coming off the bench in game four. And because of Draymond Green's suspension, Andre Iguodala, his second start of the playoffs. The first one was game seven in OKC. Well, they say closeout games are the toughest ones to win for Golden State. Made a little tougher. He sniffs out the action that they're running, and he automatically switches as LeBron knocks down the long ball. LeBron James straight on knocks down his second three-pointer, and they've tied the game. James drives and easily finishes. James jumper again. LeBron James. Iguodala ahead to Curry. Shumpert in pursuit. Blocked by James. Rejects it out of bounds. He says to Curry, get it out of here. James puts his head down, drives, and finishes. Shepard with a good look. James the rebound, and the putback. 16 points and 8 rebounds for LeBron James. James steps back, his jumper's been working tonight, does again. Spades gives him some room, James knocks it down. James the drive, James the finish. James fakes, James drives, James finishes, and the foul. James with 4 to shoot, he's gonna have to knock up a 3. And does LeBron James with his third three-pointer. Taken by Iguodala. Off to the races. Drive past Irving. Gets inside. Layup blocked by James. The second chase down block of the game. Love finds James who got free in an easy two. And this is the largest lead of the game for the Cavaliers. LeBron James with the left hand. James. Steps back, he tries another three. That's good, LeBron James from downtown. James jump shot again. All night long, he's been hitting from the perimeter. James against Rush, leans in, tried to draw the foul, got him up, count it, and one. First time ever, teammates had 40 points in a finals game. Cleveland forces a game six. The play, boy. Yes, sir. They had two great games, two breakout games, and I'm just proud of the way our guys played tonight and competed. Go play, fellas. That's how we got to fight, man. When we scrap, we play hard, and nobody beat us. But in the 80s, up 3-2, going to play another game in Cleveland. It's exactly the same position we were in a year ago. We went to Cleveland and took care of business and won the whole thing. There's no reason why we can't do that again. We live to fight another day. We're here to fight another day. It feels great. 
a win or go home situation, just being resilient. Um, but we're still down in the series. We understand that we're still playing against an incredible team. We got to come out even better in game six. This is our time, you know. I know that having to win three games in a row is a, is a tough thing to do, but you know that's what we do as Clevelanders. I mean, nothing comes easy. After the other night, man, they gave us hope again, especially coming back home. We've all come out to the airport to welcome back the Cleveland Cavaliers. This whole state, this whole city, the whole community, everybody's behind them, and we just want to come out and let them know we believe. We're ready for game six. Let's go, Cavs! Let's go, Cavs! It's the biggest game in Cleveland Cavaliers history. A win tonight means the quest for the city's first ever NBA title is still alive. And the Warriors are looking to make some history of their own. They're one win away from capping their amazing season with a championship repeat. All in, baby! We got it tonight! This crowd is so psyched. This is what they expect. They expect the team to win. They expect these great performances. So, you know, you just can't wait. As we get set for game six, starting lineups and some changes. Andrew Bogut out with the knee injury, Andre Iguodala. We'll start in his place. Draymond Green returns. Same starting five for Cleveland. And here in this city, they're saying this is the biggest game in franchise history and one of the biggest nights in the city's sports history as they try to keep alive their dream of bringing a championship to the city of Cleveland. Thompson chased by LeBron James, hooked away from behind, then releases. And Curry has to back off as James throws it down. James against Curry. Backs it in. 8 nothing. Irving fakes. Drives. James on the throwdown. James. Thompson running and finishing. James as Iguodala on the attack. Goes to the goal. Left-handed lays it in. James to Thompson. Oh, what a pass from LeBron James. James puts up the three and nails it. LeBron James from downtown. Alley-oop to Thompson. James, the crossover, the layup off the glass. Tristan Thompson hauls in the rebound. His 11th of the game finds James. Barnes 2 for 14 in game 5, 0 for 8 here tonight. He's missed 14 straight shots, blocks the shot there. Good recovery from Barnes. J.R. Smith hits a three way downtown. James on the attack, left-handed once again, lays it in. Pass inside, stolen by Irving. Throws it ahead to Smith. Smith. Alley up to James! Wow! As James lines it up and hits a three. Green went for the steal. Lost his balance. James gets to the paint, puts up the shot and puts it in. Green down the other end. James right there. Blocked by James! Barbosa can't hold on. Oh, what a defensive play from LeBron James. Irving misses. James offensive rebound. Back up and in. Shot clock winding down. James has to put it up. Puts it in! Irving fakes the three to James. Layup, banks it in. Iguodala trying to stay in front. Falling away, it's good! James floats it up and tops and throws it down. It's Bedlam here in Cleveland. Curry blocked by James! Making a statement on both sides of the floor. Says to the two-time MVP, get it out of here. Not on my watch. James finishing touches. What a magnificent performance. 41 in back-to-back -back finals games. And we will have a game seven in Oakland. Well, LeBron facing elimination obviously doesn't phase you. Congratulations, great performance. I'm very pleased to be here to witness it. I'm happy to see you, man. Much love and respect. And uh, I'm happy he was able to witness this in front of these fans. We really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for entertaining me. If you told us to be in your season one game to win a championship in Oakland, we'll take that any day of the week.
come Sunday night at the Oracle in Oakland, California, that Steph Curry is going to make his presence felt emphatically. And Cleveland is going to have to have an answer for that. Him and Clay, because I don't know if anybody's noticed, Clay tends to show up in big games as well. It doesn't get any bigger than Game 7 of the NBA Finals. I think they will respond, and we will see what happens. It will take another Herculean performance by LeBron James to win this game. I suspect, however, that Steph Curry and them are going to have something to say about it. I'm sticking with my prediction. I'm not jumping ship. I'll go down with it. I picked the Warriors in seven, and I'm going to stay right where I'm at. The best two words in sports, game seven. It will make or break you psychologically. Guys ask me, are you worried about the seventh game? And I said, no. Let them worry about us. Ain't nothing else to say, that's it. That's what you live for. Welcome to the 19th Game 7 in NBA history. The Warriors are trying to wrap up what would be the greatest season in NBA history. Will tonight be the very night that Cleveland fans have spent decades dreaming about? Game 7, next. This is the Game 7 in the NBA Finals. This might be once in a lifetime. Leave everything out on the floor. Right, if we do that, we'll give ourselves a great chance to leave out of here with our dream, all right? Whatever happens, man, it's been a hell of a series. You yes, guys have done a great job. All right, good luck. Oracle Arena is alive and roaring as we get set for game seven. 41 in back-to-back -back finals game. James comes out of the pack. Fakes, drives on Barnes, left-handed, banks it in. Rebound James again. J.R. Smith releases and lays it in. Beautiful pass. Pass right through the hands of Curry. James, the two-handed slam. James drives in hard. Nice adjustment with the left hand. Green leading the break. Green's pass stolen by James and Mo Williams all alone. Fifth turnover for Golden State. James drives. Curry has to get out of the way, and James gets the friendly roll. Curry drives again. Left-handed blocked by James. Rejected out of bounds. James on the drive. Fouled. Layup. Counted and one. Iguodala fakes. Shut off nicely by Jefferson. Barbosa. Shot blocked by James. Curry tries to deny. James gets it. Shot clock winding down. Into Love. And Love lays it in as the shot clock expires. James looking to post up. Sean Livingston backs in, tough fall away shot, it's good! James drives, gets in the paint, puts it up, and puts it in. James drives down the lane, running shot, banks, and it's good! Five to shoot, Azili again goes back up on him, James steps back for three, puts it in! LeBron James from downtown! Do you guys know the last time I saw him move at 100%? <laughs> Game, seven. Game seven. Seven is tied with three and a half to go here in the fourth. It was like nobody had scored for two and a half minutes, so you're like, boom, 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 who's going to score first? Rebound taken by Iguodala. So I'm watching the play like because I see the two, I see the two on one happening, and I'm like, damn it. And I, I, this is not an exaggeration. It's like you see it happening, and then you're watching the ball. Iguodala to Curry, back to Iguodala. I literally see a black blur. Oh, blocked by James! LeBron James with the rejection! And it's like he gets the block, and you're like, huh? oh, what? But I had still never seen anybody move that fast to the point goes. where it was a blur. That was the triple-double from LeBron James and Curry. Missing shots we've seen him hit all season long in what has been an electrifying Game 7 here at Oracle Arena. And Mike, Ty Lue elects to take out Tristan Thompson, insert Richard Jefferson. Offensively, that'll give him more space. But if it's not a timeout, defensively, that's a real challenge for the Cavaliers against the likes of Curry and Thompson. 
Each team has a foul to give as we come up on a minute remaining. And they're putting Curry in the pick and roll, trying to get him on Irving. Irving and Curry, one on one. Irving puts it up. It's good! Kyrie Irving from downtown! And the Cavaliers by three! And I like the no timeout call by Steve Kerr. Love picks up Curry. Curry steps back, fakes a three, drives again, shut off nicely, found a green, seven to shoot. Curry fakes the three, steps back, crossover, puts up a three. Rebound James with what, 30 seconds remaining. What a spectacular job by Love. Irving on the drive, goes inside, lost it, gets it back and finds Love. There's a seven second difference between shot clock and game clock. And they had a foul to give, so Barnes fouls him there. But that's a bad foul, Mike. That Absolutely. gives them three extra seconds. And what was Kyrie Irving doing in transition? Well, James will inbound. Now there's a 4.7 difference between shot clock and game clock. Cavaliers have one timeout left. Can go in the backcourt in the last two minutes to get it. But they've got to manage this clock. They don't want to go early. Irving drives to James, misses the jam, but foul. Warriors have two timeouts remaining. Stays a three-point game. And Mike, as a player, there's no pressure right now. You're up three. Worst case scenario, you got to give him one free throw. That should be the mindset. I missed it. You got to step up and knock this free throw down if you're LeBron James. Warriors will no doubt pull timeout. Miss or make here from James. Rattles in the second. Four point game. Timeout, Golden State. Curry runs off. Iguodala looking. Thompson catches. Thompson a couple of dribbles, head fake, tied up, throws it in to Green on a foul on the entry pass. That's the foul to give. And now they'll take it out of bounds with 6.5 remaining. And you got to make sure you're in nobody's area to allow them to knock down a three and you get contact. I lost a, a playoff game on a phantom four-point play to Jeff Van Gundy. Big dollar to inbound. Shepard. Trying to stay with Curry, catches, one dribble, steps back, puts up a three, won't go, rebound tip taken by Spades, final second, it's over, it's over! Cleveland is a city of champions once again! The Cavaliers are NBA champions! Cleveland's long sports nightmare has ended. The drought is over. 52 years. Time to celebrate a title. And the emotions for LeBron James, who delivers on his promise to come home and bring a championship to his beloved hometown. Let's go to Doris. Mike, overcome with emotion is exactly how I would describe LeBron's reaction as he shares a hug with Kyrie. We'll get in a minute, but he is still crying tears of joy. LeBron. I'm sorry, Doris. No, no worries, Kyrie. LeBron, as soon as that buzzer sounded, your emotions let loose. Can you describe what you're feeling right now? I set out a goal two years when I came back to bring a championship to the city. I gave everything that I had. I put my heart, my blood, my sweat, my tears to this game. And against all odds, against all odds, I don't know why we want to take the hardest road. I don't know why the man above gives me the hardest road, but it's nothing the man above. Don't put you in situations that you can't handle. And I just kept that same positive attitude. Like, instead of saying, why me? 
They're saying this is what he want me to do. And uh, Cleveland, this is for you. Oh. LeBron, you did what no other team had been able to do, coming back from a three to one deficit in the finals. And to do that, you had to win twice in a place that proved too much for so many teams. What did you find in game five here? Uh, just locked in. I had to change my approach a little bit on how I approach the game. I wasn't that good in the first two games here in this building. I watched a lot of film, detailed it out, changed my blueprint, and uh, was able to put together some spectacular games after being down 3-1. History, we're in the record books. We're the first team ever to come back from a 3-1 three, uh, three deficit. This is special. Congratulations, you're the first team in the history of the NBA to come back from a 3-1 deficit. And LeBron, most valuable player, 2016 NBA Finals. Congratulations. Our names are being etched in history, man. Never thought I'd be here. You know, when you win the championship together, it's like a blood transfusion. Something you can never change. Ultimately, got it done. People said we couldn't do it. We showed a lot of perseverance and resilience. And this was our inspiration throughout the whole playoffs. We had 16 puzzle pieces to complete the whole puzzle. 15 puzzle pieces for all 15 guys that made sacrifices. And the last puzzle piece go to Coach Lou. Yeah. Lost some words. All I know is uh, we're the 2016 NBA World Champions. At 31 years old, that's where LeBron is. They both have three rings. LeBron's got one more regular season MVP and been to over two times as many finals as Michael Jordan. I think you'll be shocked to know that MJ broke into the NBA in 84. He was rookie of the year, and they lost in the first round of the playoffs. The next year, broke his leg. They were swept in the playoffs. He's back the next year. They were swept in the playoffs. The next year, they lose in the semis. The next year, they lose in the Eastern Conference Finals. The next year, they lose in the Eastern Conference Finals. It's almost like people have amnesia. Michael Jordan struggled to get out of the first round. In the, th in the first three years, he was getting to the first round. They had losing records. LeBron comes in rookie of the year, no playoffs first year, no playoffs second year, but they had a winning record. The East was very good. So Michael was getting into the playoffs and getting swept with losing records. LeBron had a winning record, couldn't get in. And then by the third year, LeBron lost in seven in the semis. His fourth year, he got to the final, beat MJ to the final. And he was at a high school. He didn't have the college preparation that MJ did. If you match him up 31 years old, LeBron's been to over twice as many finals. He got there faster. And by the way, Michael broke in with two 20-point scores. Orlando Woolridge, Quentin Daly, big-time scores. LeBron got junk for seven years. Took without question the worst team in the history of the league to the finals. Iverson's team could at least play defense. So, you know, you, you stack these up and we look at the end of Michael's career and we forget LeBron's got seven more years to play.